to Mrs. Flynn's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to season your wok. Here is what you will need for seasoning your wok. Keep in mind that you will ultimately want your wok to turn black with a shine to it, which means it is well seasoned. When seasoning, please be sure to use vegetable oil and not olive oil as well. There are several wok seasoning recipes used to season your wok, but vegetable oil is the simplest way. So let's begin! First, you will need to wash your wok with warm, soapy water to remove any dirt that may be on it. Our woks come with a protective food grade coating so if you wish to remove it, you can wash your wok under hot water and scrub it off. This protective food grade coating may be a bit difficult to remove so another method would be to boil some water in your wok and then wash it as well. We would like to remind you that this protective layer is food grade and completely safe so it's okay if you cannot completely remove it as it will eventually come off after being used. Once you are finished washing, dry your wok with a paper towel before you begin seasoning. Now to season your wok, you will need to set your stove to medium to high heat in order for it to begin being seasoned. You will then want to add vegetable oil all over the surface of your wok. Now this is going to make the oil very hot so please use some tongs or chopsticks to spread the oil with a paper towel. When the wok now has a very nice layer of oil all over it, let your wok sit for about 15 minutes. Your wok will begin to start turning from gold to brown and finally black. If the surface starts to look a little dry, go ahead and wipe it with another thin layer of oil. You may also want to move around your pot over the flame so the top half gets heated as well. The middle of the pan will always be the darkest as it is always directly above the flames. Once cooled, you may wash it again in case you start seeing the food grade film starting to bubble up. You will be able to feel where the food grade coating is as it will be sticky when you try to scrub it off. Remember. Only use a bamboo brush to scrub it off. You may use an SOS pad to scrub it as well, but be careful not to scratch your wok. Please note that as well that because you are scrubbing off the film, you will need to re-season your wok once again. When washing, you will see some black residue coming off. This is due to the burned oil from seasoning your wok over a high flame. This is perfectly fine to keep in your wok as long as it is not making your food stick. Seasoning your wok is going to take a few times until it will not be sticky. Remember, these carbon steel woks are meant to turn golden brown and ultimately black during this process. You will know that your wok is fully seasoned once your food no longer sticks to your pan. Some say that you will know your wok is completely seasoned when you can make an omelet on it and nothing will stick. I have five different woks here. It shows uh, um, them in five different stages in usage. This is a non season wok which has been cleaned for a couple times already um, but it still needs a few more uh, cleaning to get rid of the blue grade um, uh, film which that you're seeing the black stuff that you're seeing here this is a pre-season wok which has been cleaned recently but it has not been used yet this is also a pre-season wok um, it has uh, been used for over a few months already. So you're seeing some buildup at the bottom of this wok, the black stuff, and you're seeing, which is pretty normal. This is a pre-season wok, which has been used for over five years. This is a non-pre-season wok, which has also been used for over five years. Um, um, both of the woks that have been used for over five years, we see a lot of the black buildup on the side of the wok, which is pretty normal. Uh, it just shows that how um, seasoned the wok already has gone through. It also shows uh, how experienced you are with the wok. At the bottom of this wok, you're seeing a lot of some rust that, uh, that you're seeing here. It is pretty normal. Um, all you needed to do before you start doing any stir frying or walking, just uh, go run through it under the, uh, the running water to get rid of it and that should, uh, that should be fine to you. Remember, you will know that your wok is fully seasoned when your food no longer sticks to it when you're cooking. I hope you learn how to season your wok as well as uh, know what to expect from your wok in the future. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to message us or comment below. And thanks for watching.